at the 6th Asian Pacific Congress of Heart Failure. Experts gathered to discuss ways to better manage the life-threatening heart failure disease, a condition that's becoming a growing epidemic in Asia and the third death causes in Thailand. In nearly all regions of the world, heart failure is both common and on the rise. However, medical experts pointed out a new form of detection through a test for NT-ProBNP. It allows physicians to make early predictions on patients prone to the disease. NT-ProBNP is an inactive protein in the human body, which secretes from the heart when the heart muscle is stressed. The level also has a strong coloration with the level of the overstretching of the heart muscle. People in the high-risk group are therefore recommended for regular screening. So I think uh, N-terminal pro-BNP is moving beyond just a diagnostic blood test for people who show up with shortness of breath determining whether they have heart failure or don't have heart failure. It's moving in two important directions. One which we talked about here today, which was the early detection of individuals who may be at risk for heart failure. The other important direction in which it's moving is for the management of patients with chronic heart failure. It's taking individuals who've been diagnosed with heart failure they've been discharged from the hospital and utilizing serial N-terminal pro-BNP values allowing their physician and the patient to optimize medical management probably improve adherence or compliance to medical therapy this has been shown at least in a number of preliminary studies to be very powerful in reducing hospitalizations sometimes even death the heart is arguably the organ that suffers most obviously from increasing economic globalization Increasing industrialization and urbanization may be the aim to enhance the living standards, but it comes along with a change of diet of increased calories, fat and salt, heavy smoking, lack of exercise, and obesity. This is followed by diabetes, hypertension, and coronary artery disease, which are the initial consequences to heart failure. Heart failure is a life-threatening condition with close to 60% of patients dying within five years of diagnosis. Because in Thailand, uh, the patients can be the uh, obvious symptom of the heart failure. So sometimes uh, we did not use this test, only less, because we can diagnose by the critical symptoms. But only in the small percentage, if the, right, the, the symptom is non-specific, or in the, the case with mixed uh, disease, like the patient had a pulmonary disease, like the uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or chronic asthma. In some cases, especially in aging, sometimes we must uh, differentiate between the heart disease or lung disease. If we doubt, we use this test to differentiate between uh, these two conditions. As for the emerging countries in the Asian continent, medical experts warn that people should take in healthier diet, less westernized lifestyle, which is inexpensive and cost-effective. Early detection also enables physicians to apply the right therapy in trying to target lower NT-ProBNP. All in all, the follow-up of the NT-ProBNP does not only help save lives, but can also significantly reduce the financial burden on patients and healthcare system of Thailand. As experts find that outpatients who return for medical checkups have a chance to reduce cardiovascular events by 40%. Jurawi Gdesin, reporting for RCN-TV.